Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Play It Straight by Raquel Welch in the color Glazed Cinnamon. Let's get started. Play It Straight is a sophisticated, polished, choppy, layered wig. It's cute, right? I'm going to talk about all the business side of this wig, and then I'm gonna tell you what my first impressions were and what my overall thoughts of Play It Straight is. So, first things first, the cap. If you've been watching my channel, you know by now, I love Raquel Welch caps. They have the beautiful sheer indulgence lace front. It runs temple to temple. This one has a mono part. They've got the great ear tabs. And Raquel Welch is why I got so picky about ear tabs because they're substantial, they're felt covered or, or that material that's soft, um, completely covered, metal stays. And then it has the extended nape, the Velcro adjusters, and then open wefted all the way around. I just, they just fit so comfortably. It's, it's one of those caps that I put on and after an hour or so, I forget that I'm wearing it. It just feels good. I never feel like it's slipping. I do wear a wig grip and I have a wig grip on today. Now some Raquel Welch, if it's got a full mono top, they're so sheer and, and, um, thin and, and just to me, I feel like that's really well made. I can't even wear a wig grip. I have to wear it stays or, and I keep saying this and I haven't done it yet, I need to get some of that scar tape to put underneath so that I can wear a wig grip and it won't show through. It just looks like flesh. Still haven't done it. I, I need to do that. These caps are comfortable. They're one of my favorites. Uh, I just can't say enough great things about them. I mean, I keep going back to Raquel Welch because they're so comfortable. The measurements on Play It Straight. So I have a 22 and a half inch circumference. I have a seven and a half inch face and then two and a half, three neck. The measurements on the website say that the front is seven inches. Now, that might be about right. At first I was like, man, they seem a lot shorter than that. And so this is another one of those situations where these, on these straight, choppy, layered styles, this is where the circumference can really come into play and make it look different on people. And you know, even we might have the exact same length of face, but if your overall head size is, is smaller and more petite, this is gonna hang different on you. And it's gonna be especially noticeable in, in this kind of a style. The measurements say that the crown is eight and a half, the sides are six and it's very layered. So, you know, that's gonna be kind of just an overall, the sides are six. The back is five and a half and the nape is five. So you get kind, kind of get a longer back because the nape measurement is measured from, you know, the nape of the wig. And so that's now, that's gonna hang down five inches. So you, you get this overall shape of starting shorter and then that gradual longer back. Now, uh, Cynthia from Faux Hair Don't Care, I believe she mentioned she uh, trimmed or cut off the longer flippy back. And I can see it looked very cute and I can see why people would want to do that. I uh, actually don't mind this shape. I think for me, I like a little bit of that length in the back but that's an option. You can check out her channel to see how that looks on her. That's a great thing about wigs is if you love everything else about it, but you know, something's flipping up or you wanna add a bang, those are definitely modifications that you can make to make it your own. The color I'm wearing is glazed cinnamon and you've seen this color on me before. I have miles of style in glazed cinnamon. I love this color. I. 
I am normally more attracted to the lighter, more orangey red, but I really wanted to try this color when I requested Miles of Style, and I'm really glad that I did. This is a gorgeous dark red auburn but I want to use that loosely. I mean, this is more of like a dark red, but not purpley red. This is just a beautiful dark red color. The color code for Glaze Cinnamon is R3025S+. And so 30 is like the auburn, the ginger. 25 is a medium golden blonde. And that's very true of what this is. There is a little bit of blonde that runs through this, but mostly the, the overall color you're gonna get is that ginger auburn. And when I want to, to kind of compare it to Rusty Auburn by Gabor, Rusty Auburn to me is more of a true auburn. There's more of that chocolatey brunette color in it. The auburn that I have in my family is more of the brunette with red, where to me this is red with, with brunette. <laughs> so this I would classify as a red hair color. And then it has those medium golden blonde highlights that just lighten it up just enough. Something else fun about wigs, and probably my favorite thing about wigs, and I played around with this on Instagram the other day in my Insta stories. This wig, because I have the exact same color in a different style, I was so excited to get that other style and play around with the two. So the best part of having wigs is that one day you can be super short, layered, choppy, and then the next day, or even later the same day, you can be long. This is Miles of Style by Raquel Welch in that same glazed cinnamon. <laughs> How fun is this? So two straight styles, low density styles, but one is short and, and choppy and this is long and softly layered. Oh, I love this about wigs. I love that you can have whatever hair you wanna have at any given moment. Okay, so I've talked about the measurements, the cap, the color. My first impression of Play It Straight was, what was I thinking? Why did I request this? What am I gonna do with this? How am I gonna wear this? And I even put it on and showed my husband and he was like, okay, that's pretty. <laughs> so it's one of those wigs that I, I kept on because Obviously there was a there was something that attracted me to it. So I continued to wear it that night and I my first reaction to basically any wig is let's let's fluff it up, let's see how much volume I can get. You know, instantly I want to get my hands in there and, and see how big I can make it. It's not what this wig is. You know, if I want a a short, straight, layered, voluminous wig then go buy that kind of wig. It's not what Play It Straight is. Play It Straight is, um, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's, it's a sophisticated, polished, low density wig. And it is beautiful in what it is. And so the more I wore it that night, the more I liked it. And it kind of, I got used to the darker color. And like I said earlier, I have this in another wig, but it looks different in a straight wig and especially if I don't have any makeup on, it looks different. The more I wore it, the more I liked it. And the first time that I wore it out of the house and wore it all day, I loved it. And that is really where my whole attitude changed about this wig. This is an easy, effortless, no fuss wig. It doesn't get in your face. It doesn't get in your way. It doesn't matter if it's windy outside or not. It's just easy to wear. And I like that about it. I like it that I can just comb it out and go. And no matter what I'm doing, it's going to look like this. And actually when I, like I put some contour cream in it because there are some flyaways. Whenever I wear it, if I wanna add a little bit of volume, um, I can just kind of spritz it with water and it kind of revives that contour cream. 
and then I can put a little bit of lift in it and then as I go throughout the day it does fall but it kind of just gets better so overall, Play It Straight was one of those wigs for me that my first impression was, what have I done? To, I love this. I love the ease. I love the different style. I'm, I think I am crossing over into that level of comfort with wigs where I'm not afraid to try something new. Now, I can't say the same for the color yet. I'm still real attached to my red color. But as far as styles and uh, for some reason, again, I keep referencing Instagram because I'm pretty active on Instagram in between these videos. If you notice, I'm ordering some really different styles than what everybody is used to seeing me in. And it's fun. It's fun to be able to do different stuff and experiment and, and just see myself in different hairdos that I could never do before with my natural hair. And if you've got to wear a wig, I mean, you might as well have fun with it. So if you don't mind changing styles all the time and people knowing that you wear wigs, then I say go for it. I say try styles that you've never thought looked good on you before because it probably does. Okay, so this has been Play It Straight by Raquel Welch in the color glazed cinnamon. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you never miss a video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do a little chit chat in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you have Play It Straight? Have you done any modifications? What do you think? Okay guys, I will see you next week. Bye.